We are demanding answers after a series of investigations revealed misconduct among the ranks of the Coffee City Police Department. And today we're hearing exclusively from the mayor of the city. Good evening, I'm Marangeli Lopez. Over the course of last week, we brought you multiple stories outlining shortcomings in the hiring practices of Coffee City Police and the police chief's own history of legal trouble. Brennan Gurley is here with us with the latest chapter of this investigation, a story that you'll only see here on CBS 19. Brennan, what, Brennan, what did you hear from the mayor today? Hey, Mata, good evening. The mayor wants to move past this ugly chapter for Coffee City, and he says he supports a thorough independent investigation into the police department. And after the allegations about our police chief and our warrant division came out, then we were kind of like, oh, now we're going to have to do something. A city investigating one of its own following the suspension of its police chief and the suspension of an entire division of the police department. Mayor Jeff Blackstone says he's dedicated to getting answers. Our plan right now is just to get to the bottom of this, figure out where things are going to go from there, and then start rebuilding. Blackstone and other city council members have ordered an independent investigation. Chief John J. Portillo is serving a 30-day suspension. An investigation by her sister station in Houston uncovered that Portillo failed to disclose an active DWI charge out of Florida on his job application to be Coffee City's police chief in 2021. I don't think that works in law enforcement if I'm I may not be correct, I don't know. And it's not just the chief. According to personnel records, more than half of the Coffee City officers had been suspended, demoted, or dishonorably discharged from their previous jobs. Well, I was not pleased whenever I heard the allegations because if they are true, then that's that looks really bad. The series of reports also revealed Coffee City hauled in a million dollars in court fines last year and has a police force of 50 officers, five times the number of officers than any other Texas town its size. Mayor Blackstone says he wants to shake the reputation the city has for being a speed trap. If you look at our ratio of tickets to um, uh, warnings, warnings are almost double the amount of, as tickets. We're really trying to, to get people to slow down, but also to not you know, monetize that. We asked Mayor Blackstone how many officers are currently employed through the city. I don't really know the, the correct answer to that. We've actually put in, in a request to get an updated roster. We have not given that information yet. While an independent investigation is underway, Lieutenant Lonnie Hicks is the officer in charge of the Coffee City Police Department. Mayor Blackstone says he and other city leaders will hold a high standard for the future of the police department. Good for us to have a police department, that, but we need to have a good police department. Now this afternoon, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, or TCOL, confirmed it's investigating the Coffee City Police Department. It's a state agency that regulates all peace officers in Texas. The Coffee City Councils will hold its next meeting Monday at 6 p.m. It is open to the public. We will be there and bring you any new information on air and online at CBS19.tv. Mata. Brennan, thank you.